Right, what's going on today? I'm gonna show y'all real quick how to make custom ringtones from your iTunes library. From your iTunes, and you know whether you uh, bought it through iTunes, you bought it, uh, you you copied it from your CD or a burnt CD or anything. You can just make any songs, and uh, it's worked before, and it still works with the new iTunes. With the new firmware for the iPhone, iTouch, or actually the same for the iTouch, but yeah, first generation, 3G, 3GS. So before we uh, go ahead, before we do that, <clears throat> this is and this is also through Windows. Uh, Mac is pretty similar, so let's follow the steps here, and it's pretty uh, pretty much the same thing as for Windows and Mac. First thing you gotta do. Okay, is again I'm using Windows Vista. So what you do is go on start, control panel, and uh you can see uh I, you know some some Vista users have the, the Vista panel look, which is that, but I do classic view, uh and you'll find folder options. Looks just like that. You gonna write you gonna double click. That's gonna pop up. Click view. Okay, scroll down. This would be checked. Do not show hidden files and folders. You're gonna check this instead. Show hidden files and folders. And then see this hide extensions for known file types. Uncheck that. Press apply, then okay. I've done it already, so but for some people, you know, you're going to have to do that. Okay, after you do that, go into your iTunes. Go into the library. And pick out any song you want to use. Let me just delete that real quick. Okay, let's just, just pick a random song here. Do this track. Right click. Get info. Okay, go under options. And right there. Check on start and stop time. And you're gonna set the time to whatever uh, part of the song you want to use as your ringtone. So, since this is just a uh, example, I'm just gonna start it from the beginning and end it at 30 seconds okay see that click OK and listen to it first if it's right then it's all good if not just keep changing the, the time uh, until you uh, find a desired part of the song you want to use after you do that right click Okay, create AAC version. It's creating. Okay. It's right below it. Okay, after you do that, right click. Click on show in Windows Explorer. This window will pop up. And you're going to see, I guess, the whole um, the album. So. You have two of the same songs. One is bigger than the other. Pick the smaller one. Okay, so right click. And you're going to want to rename it. And you can see right there the extension. And that's why we we enabled it earlier, so you can get that up here. You want it instead of M4A, you want it to be M4R. Yeah, that's cool. 
Let the ego do that. Um, just drag it into your either your desktop or you know more convenient if you ha you know if you're gonna be making a lot of ringtones. Um, I suggest to make a folder like I did right there. Um, iPhone ringtones. So we're gonna go ahead and drag the our new ringtone in the, into there. Okay, we got the coo we got that in there. It's called Coochie. <laughs> All right, after you do that, go ahead and close close the Windows Explorer window. Close that down. Okay, now you're gonna open your iTunes back up. Click on to your ringtones in your iTunes, and now you got to do is drag the new ringtone into your iTunes ringtone folder. Drop, there it is. Let's listen to it. There you go. And, uh, you know, do the same thing, same process to any uh, song that you want to use as a ringtone. Pick out the time, a lot of drag and drops, and you're good to go. All right, now there's going to be more coming. We'll have more, uh, more to show y'all in my channel uh, as far as iPhone things, tech shit, uh, hacking, jailbreaking. Uh, I should be coming out with a video on how to um, jailbreak and unlock uh, a 3GS untethered, you know, for the new 3GSs out there, as well as the um, iPod 3 third generation. So look out for that video. I'll keep you guys updated. But uh, for now, enjoy this, and uh, we'll do more soon. And uh, don't forget to rate and leave a comment and of course subscribe thanks again for checking out my page or my channel and i'll see y'all later